Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is my second time filming this packing video because the first time my camera died and deleted all the footage, but that is okay. It might be a little choppy, but I will get through it and I'm dedicated to showing you guys how to pack for two seasons to Central and South America. It's two seasons because most of it will be hot weather, it'll be humid, but the rest of the time I will be climbing volcanoes in the mountains in some places. I might be in valleys where it's going to be really cold, so I have to pack some uh, cold weather stuff as well. So the only footage that got deleted was my main backpack, of course. So I'm going to start off with the clothes and show you what I pack in each packing cube and and how I'm going to manage to fit everything I need for four months in just one carry-on backpack that I got from Eagle Creek Global Companion um, and I got this backpack because of Backpacking Bananas. She just raves about it and I used it last year for the first time and absolutely love it. It's the best backpack. So that is what I'm taking on my four month adventure to Central and South America. I am starting in Mexico City and I am going there tomorrow so stay tuned for all of those vlogs coming soon. I will be creating lots of content so watch out for that. But before we start with the clothes I wanted to show you what I picked out to wear to the airport. So that is these long lounge tie-dye pants, my only pants that I am bringing on this trip and a gray free people tank top and I have this white light jacket cover up thing. Shoes, I will be wearing my classic Birkenstocks. And now on to the clothes, into the bottoms and dresses. Packing cube is my largest cube. In this packing cube, I have some denim shorts, black biker shorts. I've fallen in love with biker shorts for yoga and physical activity. Black lounge shorts with pockets. My favorite orange shorts. One skirt for nicer occasions and going out. And my favorite gray jumpsuit from Urban Outfitters. And then on top I just laid my black leggings from Fabletics and just my PJ bottoms. And then for my tops and dresses, I have I have one long sleeve workout top from Free People, one crocheted nicer cute top I got from Mexico last year. I have a t-shirt from Anthropology, just a pink tank top, a white tank top from Free People, a basic black crop top, one very simple cover-up fun cute dress and one green play suit I got for my sister for Christmas. And then lastly for this side, the biggest side, um, I am going to put my puffer jacket from Free People. All right, and then for uh, this side of the backpack, which is just gonna be basically everything else, and for my smallest packing cube, I have nine pairs of underwear. I have a gray bralette, a black bralette, a pink bralette, and I have a cute lacy black bralette and a black halter sports bra that could also work as a top. And then because I overpacked on bathing suits last year in Mexico, I went really simple this year, or what I think is simple. I have one white top, one white bottom, one black bottom, one crochet top, and a more sportier halter top. And that fits all really nicely into this small packing cube as well. And lastly, I just have some hiking socks I'm gonna put in this packing cube. And then I have two compression socks that I'm just gonna put into my tennis shoes um, that are gonna go at the bottom of my backpack, I'll show you. And then I am only bringing one towel on this trip. 
I plan on staying at hostels that provide towels. Um, if not, I'll just use this beach towel. I got it on Amazon. It's a microfiber towel. It's an extra large or I think extra long because I'm really tall, but um, it's perfect for travel and it packs up to nothing. But I also am bringing my sarong, shawl, light blanket kind of thing that I got in Mexico last year. This was amazing to have at the beaches. I am also going to pack this cute purse that Ian got for me in Alaska. It's perfect with two zippers and an over shoulder sash. I'm putting my GoPro in its case and my electronics personal bag, um, but I'm going to put the floaty handle in my carry on. I have these fancier sandals, um, fancier, I have these fancier strappy sandals that I'll just put in here as well. I also last minute added, um, just a bag of a few tampons and my uh, menstrual cup that I'm going to try my best to use, but if not, I have some few backup tampons. And then for my toiletries, just quickly, I have this scrubber as a loofah. I have some shampoo bars that I'm going to use this year. I have a men's deodorant because it works the best. I have some um, a razor and more razor heads. I have an extra scrunchie. I have a face halo to take off my makeup with. And the only makeup I'm bringing is a BB cream a mascara and an eyebrow gel. And then I have one little microfiber cloth to wash my face in. I have some chapstick and a jade roller. And then I also brought some vitamins. Um, in just one case, I have charcoal, vitamin C, and magnesium and zinc. And that is all gonna go into this toiletry bag um, in my carry-on. And then as for my liquids, it's gonna go into my backpack until I get through security. It's just a um, small moisturizer, a body wash, base makeup remover, um, some Aquaphor. I use leave-in conditioner with a shampoo instead of regular conditioner. Some toothpaste, my bamboo toothbrush, uh, some sunscreen gel for your face and icy hot for all of the physical activity I will be doing. And that is all just gonna go into this uh, TSA approved clear bag um, so I could just take it out at security and it could be easy and fast. Okay, and so that is just gonna go right into there and that fits perfectly into there. And then lastly, um, before I close it, I just have this packable hat. I wanted to get one on my trip, but then I saw this at Anthropology where I used to work, um, and it's just packable. So like you could squish it down and it just pops straight back up. And I just think it's the cutest color. It looks really cute on me. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack that, and I'm just gonna lay that right on top so it could squish down. Close that. Perfect, okay. So here's the tough part is we're going to try and close it, but before I close it all the way, I'm going to add my tennis shoes just with a shower cap, and I have some extra shower cups in here as well for my other shoes. So I'm going to go ahead and put the sh um, tennis shoes in here. This is the trickiest part and what makes your backpack really big, so make sure that when you bring your shoes, you're going to really use these shoes and um, they're comfortable for you. All right, and this is the part where we sit on the backpack um, to close it. <laughs> All right, perfect. And now that that is done, I am going to put my TSA approved wire lock onto um, the backpack and I'm gonna lock the zippers together to the loop on the backpack. And this is the part where it got cut off where I am packing the whole front side of my backpack in these little zippers and compartments. So I'm going to skip forward to that part now. Um, but where we left off was I was just filling these pouches with all of the little medicine and all the miscellaneous stuff. So next I have um, this sewing kit. I also have super glue and earbuds in here. And that comes in handy, so you want to make sure you have a little sewing kit. 
And then I also put my packable rain jacket just right in that pocket as well. And then I just have a lot of face masks. I'm gonna keep one out because I'm gonna put it by like my wallet and stuff at the airport. But I am gonna put this in the little water bottle pocket right here because those just slide in really nice there. And then I have some medicine. Um, this is ibuprofen and iron supplements because I'm iron deficient. So I just have those and I'm gonna slip those in. I also have some tissue, I'm gonna slip that in. These are for like hikes and whatnot. I had them so I might as well throw them in there. And then I have hydrolyte tablets um, again for like hikes and physical activity and that just goes nicely in that first pocket to the left and then in the right pocket I'm gonna stuff it with with just uh, this first aid kit if I can and my little uh, tweezers and nail clippers and everything all right that fits pretty good and the last thing are just these sunglasses um they're just like cheap ones off of Shein that i'm going to put in this top pocket right here and then that should be everything for my big backpack and if i need to um just throw my like puffer jacket or my shoes on the outside of my backpack when i'm like traveling throughout the hostels or whatever i just got this little like buckle thing that i could just like put to the top of my backpack here and then like hook it on to there or something so i'm just gonna have that dangling there for now and then the last thing on the side that doesn't zip i want to put my fleece jacket and i did this last year um and it worked quite nicely and i only used it when i needed it and other times it just stayed on there and it was fine it didn't get very dirty if i did like I washed it, it was fine. It was also really easy to like pull out for like buses and stuff. So it was kind of nice having it on the outside. I'm gonna put that there, but I'm gonna make sure to like tighten these straps so it doesn't fall off. And then the last thing would be my Hydro Flask that I'm bringing. If you watched my last packing video, I brought this water filter water bottle and I loved using it, but it was just so big and bulky that I hated carrying it around every day that I always like ended up just buying a water bottle that's smaller or something to put in my purse. And so I'm just going to bring my thin Hydro because um, I could just easily put that in my purse or just carry it around. It's a lot lighter. So I'm just going to bring that this time. Um, put it right on the outside there and that should be it for my big backpack and it looks it feels very very full and then we're gonna move on to my Jansport backpack okay so this is where it gets a little bit rough because this is like a very last minute I'm gonna pack everything in here um, my very valuables um, backpack so what I'm gonna start off with my iPad and I just got this little case for it um, this is where I like edit vlogs and I also do school online um, I'm planning on making like a vlog of like how I do school online so let me know if you want that in the comments below and I'll definitely make that for you guys if you want it so I just have like a keyboard um, set up with it and then I just got this case to because I thought that would be a good idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. And then, um, it's not quite full yet, but this is my little pouch that I keep all of my like cores and SIM cards and batteries and all of that in there. Um, so it's not full yet because I still have my chargers and everything that I use every day to put in there. I will be putting that in there. And then I know I just took my GoPro out of my backpack because it didn't fit, so I'm gonna put that in there as well. Um, and then I have my Go or my Gorilla Pod for my Canon, or really for my GoPro too, but which I'm just gonna put in here for now. But I think I will be using it in the airport and stuff, so we'll see about that. And then I have my liquids that I'll take out and get ready for security. And then I have my passport. Uh, my sister gave me this little passport holder with my name. And in here I have, of course. My passport and I have some Mexican pesos, some US dollars, and my vaccine card. I'm just gonna put that in the front pocket here. And then I have my eye mask and my face mask so I could be incognito on the flight. <laughs> Alright, and then lastly, and it's a pain in my butt because I hate bringing it, but I feel like I need it. It's uh, the case 
to my big Canon 77D that I use with my microphone and everything. So I have like the microphone case in here. I'll just have my hard drive in here. I also have a backup hard drive coming that I'll put in my electronic or my cord bag. And then I also have like the power outlet charger thing that I just bring this along with me so I could charge a ton of things at once and only use like one outlet. Um, and I bring like the international charger block thing that you could switch it to so many different chargers. Um, you got like UK, Australia, Europe, like all, all different ones. And so I just plug this into there. I also have some power outlets here for chargers. And then I also have the four regular chargers and three more. So <laughs> this whole setup is perfect and all you really need. You're not going to be traveling with a lot of camera gear like me, but I'm wanting to vlog it for everybody, so um, that is why I'm carrying it with me. But I will just uh, be filling that with that, and so I have it in my backpack um, just because I realized last year what a waste of space this was carrying this around, but I could just hold things in it and it will be fine. And then I'll probably be carrying, because I'll want to vlog for you guys, my Canon with my microphone on it that is on the tripod right now. And I'm not bringing my tripod, but that is it, I feel like, and I'm so happy. Oh, and then the very last thing I forgot to mention was my wallet, but I'm using that right now. So um, I'm gonna stick that in here later with all the rest of my chargers um, once I'm ready for the airport. But that will just go in this pocket here. So that seems to be it. This is the only stuff I'm bringing for four months in Central and South America. And I really hope that you guys like this video and want to subscribe to see all the future vlogs that are coming out. I'm going to be creating lots of content for you guys on um, TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube, so make sure you follow my socials. I will link them down below. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in Mexico. <laughs>